A man is viewed at the start of the film. He enters the room of a child who is sleeping. And this man is going to finish him, firing his gun. Before he fires his gun at that child, the door of that room is automatically unlocked. That man fires his gun in that direction fearfully. That child wakes up, hearing the gunshot sound. And that man starts crying, seeing it. Consequently, he is unable to kill the child. Then an orphanage is shown where a couple arrives on the scene. The name of the wife is Jessie while the husband is Mark between them. They had visited the orphanage to adopt a child. Because their own child had been dead, drowning in the bathtub before. They were grieved at the loss of their son. So they plan to adopt a kid. They are told about an 8 years old kid named Cody by the orphanage management. And Cody lost his mother at the age of 3 years old. And Cody was adopted later by another two families. The members of one family were not gentle. While the other family left the house, leaving Cody alone. They decide to adopt Cody, knowing about his story. Here it is revealed that Cody is the same child shown at the start of the movie. That child who was being shot by that man. Then husband and wife bring Cody to their house after adopting him Cody was a child of well behaved. Cody likes butterflies. Jesse's and Mark also take Cody as a good child. Afterward, it is observed that on the same night, Cody takes such drinks as Jesse and Mark fall asleep. Which makes him awaken. On the following day, they enroll Cody in a standardized school. Where Cody is befriended with a little girl there it is noticed that Jesse and Mark were excited enough after getting Cody. And they were treating him like flesh and blood. They were also getting rid from the stress of the loss of their child. One night Cody falls asleep because of not taking the drink. Then the multicolored butterflies appear in the house. Jesse and Mark think it mysterious. But they mostly ignore it. Mark catches a blue butterfly among them. So he may give it to Cody. Because Cody was keenly interested in the butterflies. As Cody wakes up in his room, all butterflies themselves have disappeared from there. And the butterfly also disappeared which was caught for Cody by Mark. When Cody returns to his house in the coming day. Then he casts his glance at the photo of their son with the couple in the house. He was the son of Jesse and Mark who was dead. Cody asks about that child from them. Then Mark tells him he is my late son. That night, Cody again falls asleep. Now they also encounter their dead child along with the butterflies. Both husband and wife are left shocked, seeing their son. Jesse embraces her child, contrarily Cody is awakened. As a result, their children and butterflies vanished. After this Cody apologizes to both husband and wife. I had a dream last night which I had to avoid. Hearing Cody's fact, both husband and wife understand instantly, Cody's dreams are turned into reality when he sleeps. Cody had seen the butterflies in their dead son before sleeping. So he dreams of them and everything turns into reality. When Jessie feels it, then she uses Cody in order to glimpse her son. She begins to tell Cody her son. And she shows him his videos and photos. Consequently Cody dreams of their dead as he falls asleep. It is obvious now, if Cody dreams of that child, then he will appear before his reality. In this way, Jesse and Mark were able to meet their son. It is observed that a mysterious thing was advancing towards Cody. As a result Cody wakes up. And their kid and that mysterious thing also disappeared. Actually, that horrific thing was the nightmare of Cody. It is witnessed that Mark had understood the intentions of Cody. That she is using Cody to have a look of her dead son. Mark feels uncomfortable about this. So he takes out his videos and photos. In this way Jesse will not be able to use Cody. Next day, Cody goes to school. A rigid student teases Cody too much at school. It is observed that Cody has slept there after the class. Then that horrific thing is again witnessed there. And that mysterious thing had been named the canker man by Cody. It is seen that the canker man had attacked the child who was teasing Cody. That child disappeared in the air because of the canker man's attack. Cody's friend also witnesses every occurrence happening there. Here it is comprehended, what is the canker man? Actually the canker man is the nightmare of Cody. It means that Cody had surely thought about it. And Cody used to take that drink in order to avoid this nightmare. Neither he will sleep nor view the dream of that canker man. Afterwards Cody moves to his house. Now Cody is frightened because of that nightmare. So he decides to not fall asleep. But Jesse sees that Cody is not sleeping. So she mixes the sleep medication in the milk. Taking Cody falls asleep reluctantly being affected by medication. In this way, Jesse and Mark's son come to their house again. At first sight, their son is transformed into the canker man. Jesse and Mark both are scared, seeing it. Going there immediately, Mark tries to awaken him. Jesse had given the sleep medication to Cody. So he does not wake up. So the canker man disappears Mark while attacking him. 
Before the canker man vanishes Jesse while attacking her, Cody wakes up. Consequently, the canker man suddenly disappears. Cody observes waking up, Jesse is senseless there but Mark has gone out of sight. Suddenly, Cody calls the police. Witnessing all the evidence there, a police officer was suspecting Jesse. As the condition of the house the proof of the sleeping medication in Cody's drink etc. now police suspected Jesse completely. It means that Jesse surely has something wrong with Cody. So Cody is sent back to that orphanage by the police. Doing so Jesse was repenting no her guilt. So decides to bring her husband back. Why does it happen that Cody? She will assist him. So she moves to that orphanage with this intention. And she steals Cody's social worker's file. That document had the information of his previous foster parents. So Jesse goes to meet those families. And he was the same person who had attempted to kill Cody at the start of the movie, firing his gun. That man tells Jesse that, my wife has also disappeared because of Cody's nightmares. I tried my best to search for my wife, but she did not return. He tells me that I had to put Cody to death. But Cody is an innocent and guiltless child. So I did not end him. Jesse's goes to the hospital later. Where Cody's mother had died. The purpose behind his visit was to collect more details about Cody. Then it is seen that Cody is very frightened. And he was not sleeping at all. So Cody is left to sleep, injecting him. Jesse comes to that orphanage in order to meet Cody that night. Jesse observes while going there that, there is prevailed darkness in the orphanage. And all the workers of that place were imprisoned in a room. There Jesse is also able to view many nightmares of Cody. Those nightmares included Jesse's husband and her son. Now they were transformed into demons. Jesse also encounters the canker man there. But Jesse is not afraid of the canker man. Going to that canker and she shows it a pillow shaped like a blue butterfly. As a result, the canker man calmed down. And it begins to take that pillow shape carefully. Then Jesse embraces the canker man. And that canker man starts to turn into the appearance of Cody. At first sight it also disappears. Then Jesse begins to take Cody along with her during his sleep. Now Cody's nightmares are turned into pleasant dreams. Next day Jesse hands Cody over his mother's diary. Cody's mother had written many details about Cody in that diary. Cody used to live with him at the core of her heart. And Cody was lovelier than her life. And Cody's mother knew about Cody's power before his birth. That Cody's pleasant dream or nightmare are turned into reality. Cody's mother used to like this. Being a cancer patient, Cody's mother had died. At that time, Cody was a young child of three years old where he mistakenly read the word cancer as cancer in his mother's file. Cody's mother's condition had gotten worse due to this disease. Cody used to think about his mother's condition and canker. That my mother had been taken away by the canker. Now Cody used to think a lot about canker. Consequently, he began to view the nightmares. That canker was not anyone else but the mother of Cody. Cody's mother made Cody sleep on the butterfly-shaped pillow. So she calmed down, seeing that pillow. This was the cause that Cody was very interested in butterflies. Then Jesse tells an excellent story to Cody at night. In which she tells about the disappeared Mark, his wife and the return of that kid. Then it is observed that, that Cody was getting courage to control his powers. Now he will bring back all the disappeared people. And the movie also completes this scene. Thanks for watching. Do you like this type video then subscribe my channel suspense recapped.